What's up players? What's going on Zendu Nation? Welcome to today's video. We're gonna show you how to jump rope like a boxer. You know, one of those badass dudes who punches other people in the face. I'm sorry, we're not gonna teach you how to punch other people in the face, cause that, we feel at Zen Dude Fitness, is mean, and you should just stick to becoming a badass jump rope ninja. So now you might be asking yourself, why would one want to be able to jump rope like a boxer? And the answer is very simple, my friends. It's two parts. One of them, boxers' physiques, damn! They look good. Boxers have a very lean and cut physique that we promote at Zen Dude Fitness, which is why we love jump rope so much. So one, they look awesome. And secondly, learning the basic fundamentals of how to skip rope like a boxer is gonna set you up to become an awesome jump rope ninja and teach you how to do a bunch of tricks later, but you gotta learn how to skip like a boxer first. When picking your rope type, I recommend picking a steel cable rope that's also a speed rope because boxers typically have very fast routines and you wanna pick a nice thin but durable rope when skipping so that you get the full benefit and you can also look pretty cool going really fast. Now in terms of rope length, what I want you guys to do first is when you're picking your rope, put your foot in the middle of the rope, pull it up to your chest and you should see that just the rope cable excluding the handles comes about right to underneath your armpit, right around your nipple area. A general rule of thumb is that you want to pick a rope cable, again excluding the handles, that's three feet taller than your height. So I'm 6'3", therefore my rope cable is about somewhere from nine feet to 9'3". The next step before we even get started is finding your rhythm. Now we can do that without a jump rope. So what I want you guys to do is just, as you'll see me turn to the side here in this next clip, I'm just slightly jumping up and down and saying one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. I'm keeping that consistent rhythm of one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, so that I'm, I, because I want you guys to be counting that out as you begin to skip. After you have the both feet at the same time down, what I want you to move to next is the famous boxer skip. Again, we're still going without a rope here, but you're just shifting the weight of your feet from one to the other. So both feet are still hitting the ground when you're doing boxer skip, except you're alternating bending each knee every time you go down. So the weight is displaced on your right knee while the left taps and then your left knee while the right tap. So you can see here as I'm going through it. Next up guys, let's incorporate the rope. So what I want you guys to focus on next is just very simple side swipes where you're taking your hands and your wrists and you're rolling them over from one side to the other. So it's right going over left, as you can see here in the clip, and left going back over to right. And you're just alternating that as you do the boxer skip at the same time. Now I want you to go ahead and get started with the regular boxer skip. As you'll see here, I'll do a front angle and a side angle. Now practice going back and forth and just finding your rhythm, remembering that one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and alternating the weight from your right knee to your left knee, from your right knee to your left knee, and just slightly bending the leg each time. Very important, how are you breathing when you're skipping? Boxers, they gotta maintain their cool, you know what I mean? Because they're super tired, like punching people in the face and they're like, you know, I gotta act like I'm not tired. And the way that you should be breathing when you jump rope, it's in through the nose and out through the mouth, very nice and calm and collected, counting one through five. Each time you do a breath, out through the mouth, that's one, count to five and just repeat that. So you should be able to go for a while, just, Oh, trees smell so good. <laughs> and as you can see here, once you have the basic boxer skip down, it opens you up to be, able, to be able to do a wealth of different tricks out there. So again, I cannot stress enough how important it is to lay the foundation by learning the boxer skip so you can do a bunch of other cool moves, bruh, or girl. Dan Wimmer from Zen Dude Fitness. Thanks for taking the time today to learn how to jump rope like a boxer. If you have questions, comment below, and we'll see you on the next tutorial.